What's up guys? So here we are. Hope everybody is having or has had a great week. This is the end of my week. It's Friday night, but you guys probably won't watch this until like Wednesday of next week. But we're getting ready for the kayak tournament. About to load the kayak up. Got the rods rigged. Got some plastics ready. Got all the stuff that we need to go be successful on the water tomorrow and see what we can get done. Obviously, you'll see how I have done because that video will come out on Sunday. But hopefully we can do well. I really don't know what is gonna happen tomorrow. I know it's gonna be clear, it's deep, it's gonna be freaking cold. It's freaking cold right now. Low tonight's like 25, but the high tomorrow is like somewhere around the 50. So I'm thinking that afternoon bite is really gonna be the key and really where I'm gonna catch all my fish. But that's not what we're here for today. Today we are here for these two ginormous boxes. Every single year I put in a big Strike King order with the good people obviously over at Strike King. Lou's and Strike King are sister companies, so by working with Lou's, fortunately enough, I also get to have access to Strike King product at no cost to me, and so this is something I do every year because number one, I love Strike King stuff. Number two, it is just a blessing to be able to do this, to be able to load up on all the gear that I need for the year, and number three, I get geared up for the year. I get everything that I need and just get ready to go out and conquer an entire year of fishing, and so yeah, we gotta get the kayak loaded up. We're gonna listen to a Joe Rogan podcast and get all the rest of this stuff rigged up and ready to go that we need to get ready to go. And then we're gonna jump up in the boat and we will unbox these two big Strike King boxes and see what we got. But yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode. Here we are. We've got two very, very large striking packages here to unbox to see what's in here. I mean, I know what's in here, but honestly, I don't know what all they've stacked in each box. So we're gonna have to just start pulling these things apart and see what we got. I probably will not show you every single thing that I got. I kind of quickly go through some stuff because there's definitely some repeats in here and stuff like that. But I do want to kind of just give you a general idea of the stuff that I ordered, why I ordered it, and just kind of what I got to conquer the rest of this year and pretty much this whole year of bass fishing. So we'll start on top here. This is the lighter package um, of the two. This one right here I think has got plastics and lead heads and stuff in it because it is, um, according to the box weight here, uh, 37 pounds. So yeah, that one's real heavy. This one being just uh, like 10 pounds or something like that. So we'll get into this one first. And uh, yeah, let's just get into this stuff and uh, let's see what we got. So box number uno numero here uh so we got tons of stuff in here so this has actually got some plastics in it too this must have just been like the overflow box or whatever but right on top got some more tour grade line absolutely loving the strike king tour grade line everybody's been asking me about it asking whether i like it or not and yes i do i love it very much so we got some 600 yard spools here we got some 10 pound uh got some 17 pound we got some this should be 15 pound yep there we go some 15 pound uh, and then we've got some braid which this isn't the only thing of braid that I ordered but this is some 50 pound braid that I ordered and then we have this box which I'm not really sure let's just open it up and let to find out see what's in here oh these are my rage hooks. oh here's some more 50 pound just line since we'll go ahead and get that out of the way and then this box has got rage swimmers in it so these are some 3.25 inch rage swimmers i'm going to spend a lot more time this year using a smaller body swim bait just on a little lead head swimming it around kind of figuring out that whole deal um, i feel like it is a tool that I know how to use, but I do not use enough. And so, got some small rage swimmers there, 3.25 size. I also got some lead heads to pair up with these kind of when we get into that, but definitely got those. Very uh, excited to try to just relearn that. You know what I mean? I, it's something that, again, I, I don't do enough. But this is Ghost Shad, 3.25 size. And I got some other sizes in these as well. Um, also in this package, we've got some Chameleon Rage Bugs. You guys know I love 
the chameleon rage bug so we got a couple case packs of those and a case pack is six i believe yeah six packs so there's 12 packs of chameleon rage bugs those are always awesome to have um in here it looks like i got some oh yeah tour grade ned heads love the new little ned head by strike king there and obviously if i got the ned heads i also got some ned rig baits so that's another thing that i want to spend some time this year really learning how to do is fish that ned rig better than i fish it last year i experimented with it some and had a ton of success and so this year i want to just experiment more and really learn how to do it but those are some 3 16 ounce ned heads really when it comes to finesse anything whether it be shaky heads tubes you know small swim bait heads anything like that even flipping texas rig i use 3 16 ounce and so i got me some 3 16 ounce ned heads right there and then here is a case pack of green pumpkin ned ochos if you guys that don't know what the ned ocho is it's essentially the ned rig size of the strike king ocho um, not as much salt in these though so that they stand up and they're really really buoyant but yeah those things are really cool we've actually put these in the monster bass box before which is also really cool just a very quality bait overall but those are made to pair up with those heads and then i got some more um ned baits we're just gonna have to find them and then here is some more ned heads got plenty of ned heads in there more than i could probably use in an entire year but pick those up just because that's something i lose a lot especially when i go up to michigan and so i owe ben some ned heads <laughs> so getting some extra is probably good for old mr Rook. i lose these ned heads like they're going out of style um here are some uh shadowlicious these are actually the wrong size but that is okay we can get these replaced um, some shadowlicious swim baits i actually ordered these in the six inch size not the 3.5 inch size but hey that is okay we can uh put those on some little swim bait heads as well just like those rage swimmers and go swim around with them but i meant to get these in the six inch size that could have been a me thing or a packaging thing but it doesn't matter so that's that box not the ton in there but I can promise you there's a lot more to this order than just that. I'm guessing that's where old 37 pounder here comes into play. So let's see what is all in here. Yeah, this one, yeah, this one's packed to the freaking brim. I'm guessing this is where almost the entire order is at right here. So, so let's get in here and uh, start breaking her down there, boys. All right, so first thing on top, a couple case packs of rage bugs in moon juice so moon juice and chameleon honestly are the two like colors in the rage bug that i throw the most and they work pretty much everywhere i'll dip dye the tails on these bad boys a little bit chartreuse if the water gets muddy and i'll do the same for these things but these two colors right here if i was only going to buy two i would buy those two colors they are absolutely amazing colors also got some june bug rage bugs uh the reason i got those is because i have a ton of success on june bug in the summertime and i had never thrown a june bug rage bug and so i thought you know what focus on my face there we go i thought you know what why not get some try them out never used them before so if we got them we're going to try them out also got some baby rage bugs green pumpkin baby rage bugs to pair up with my little ned heads and the baby rage bug was never designed to be a ned bait but this past spring up in the great state of Michigan, me and Ben put together a 26 pound bag and a 27 pound bag of smallmouth using the little baby rage bug. And I found out that it is a excellent Ned rig bait. It makes it like glide. The little arms and the little tails, the little appendages on there make that thing just glide through the water. And it is just absolutely amazing little Ned bait. So we got some of those. Also got some uh, swim bait heads here. These are squadron heads. Love the squadron head. Um, this is probably my favorite swim bait head out there. It's just real simple. I mean, it's just a piece of lead. And so we got some 3 8 ounce ones. Also got some other sizes. We're going to have to just dig down in here and find all this stuff. But got some little 3 8 ounce ones there. Just freaking great heads. Like I said, they're just a good piece of lead. They got a good hook in them. I believe this is actually a Gamagatsu hook, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look on the back here. 
I remember that being somewhere. I believe it's a Gamagatsu hook. But I've never had any issues with like the points rolling over or anything like that. No braking issues. It's just a good trusty lead head that I know if I run a swim bait up on it and I go out there and start casting around swimming back, I have to worry about it falling apart. So we got some of those. We also got these right here. These are uh, something that I want to try out. It's a pair of Strike King glasses. Now I am a Costa man and a Smith man. Those have been the glasses that I've used for a long, long time. But I know the good old people over at Strike King make some sunglasses, so I picked some up and I'll be honest with you, I can't really tell because it's like not sunny in here, but I dig them so far. I like the color. I'm a uh, blue reflector lens kind of guy, so yeah, we'll just have to try those out and see what they're about. Hopefully I look snazzy or something like that, but yeah, those are cool. Let's flip these off and heck. We'll wear them tomorrow. So really affordable glasses too. This pair is only like 39 bucks, which I know it's still $40, but it's not $250 for a pair of coasters. So got those to try out. Uh, we've also got some caffeine chads. Got several case packs of those. I got them in Glacier and I also got them in Pearl, which we'll have to dig down in here and find the Pearl ones. But these things are wicked. I absolutely love these things for summertime. Um, you guys saw that bot that I get on on that one lake that I go to. I did it with Tyler. I did it with a former student of mine where essentially in the middle of the summer, these fish will pull up and suspend in these big trees on bluff walls and you can draw them up with a fluke and it is just a ton of fun. And I had like three case packs of flukes and I ate through every single one of them. That's how many fish we caught doing that. So ordered me a couple more case packs of those just so that we would have them. Also got some baby rage menaces. Um, these will go great on the Beast Coast Hustler jigs. And so I picked up some baby rage menaces. These can also go on the little Ned heads, little ball heads. If you guys haven't used a rage menace, you need to. It is one of the best plastics that Strike King makes. You guys are gonna hear me say that a lot because I love Strike King plastics. You know that I throw them all the freaking time, have a ton of confidence in them. Here is another pack of squadron heads. These are going to be these may be my lighter ones. Yep, these are my 3 16 ones. Again, 3 16 that's what I said. It's like my favorite size. It's my favorite like all around size. And it's probably because I grew up throwing 3 16 the most. Like when I was a kid, you know, dad was like just tying a 3 16 lead weight, Texas rig that bad boy with a brush hog or a rage crawl or something like that. And we go to work. And so we got some baby heads there. Those will go perfect with those little swim baits. That's kind of why I got those two to pair up with. Because 3 16 you can still cast it on casting gear and get away with it and not have to worry about like bird's nesting and everything like that, but it's still super finesse. I also got some tubes. You can never have enough tubes, and tubes are absolutely awesome. Um, not just for up north fishing. A lot of people think like tube and they think northern smallmouth fishing, which, yeah, you're very true. You know, that's what it's made for. But it's one of those deals that flipping a tube, if you guys have never done that in the summer, can be a super deadly tool down here in the south. Flipping a tube up north, I'm sure, but flipping a tube down south, around docks, around shallow water, I mean, it goes right up there with like the rage bug. There's a day when they don't want the flapping appendages, but they'll take that kind of do nothing action of a tube. And the way a tube falls too is very erratic. If you ever watched a tube fall, you know, you'll crack it off the bottom and it kind of darts up and then it'll just fall all wonky down to the back to the bottom. And uh, it's just an action that I don't think fish see a ton, but it does a really good job of like mimicking a bluegill. If you ever watch a bluegill swim around, they don't just like, you know, swim through the water all perfect. They kind of dart and they're real fidgety. And so a tube looks real fidgety. So we got some tubes. Um, got some baby rage bugs in pearl just because bed fishing um, looks like a shad. Throw that on a Ned rig experimentation seriously that was experimentation color i want to uh see what i can do with this i think this is going to be a very interesting experiment but i just wanted to experiment with that try it out got some more uh rage swimmers these are 4.25 or 4.75 which is what i've got over there on the wall we got those in shad as well in that um, what is this color card i just said it just a few seconds ago Go shed, that's what it's called. So got some more on that go shed. Just a very natural color. Um, something that, you know, you can throw in clear water and stuff like that. The rivers around me, really, really good. I still got a lot of these in the boat. So this is just kind of a refill to make sure that I've got enough. 
Um, we've also got some more baby rage bugs and moon juice. This is what me and Ben stroked all of those big smallmouth on was the moon juice color. So I've got some more of those to throw on some net heads. Picked up my juice from this past summer. Some zeros, some Strike King zeros. Green pumpkin, that's what's right here. If you guys don't know what the zero is, it is a stick bait that has that elastic technology in it. And this is actually what I won a kayak tournament throwing this past year in June bug, which I'm hoping there's some June bug down in here somewhere. They may have, may have another box on the way with some more stuff in it, but we got a couple packs of these in green pumpkin and uh, just had a ton of success on these over the past summer. So had to get more to make sure that we've got them in the boat. Got some more rage bugs green pumpkin because you can never have enough some more baby rage menaces in black and blue again to throw on the back of the hustler got some more ned ochos these are in morning dawn i'm gonna show you morning dawn real quick you guys have probably seen this color before and know what it is but for you guys that don't know what it is it is like a crazy pink and blue and i have found that smallmouth clear water even though it is a crazy color like that absolutely freaking love this thing and so got these to throw around here in the spring, especially when these smallmouth start moving up, you know, and kind of starting to do their thing. They do it just a little bit earlier than those largemouth do. And so oftentimes, you know, you're dealing with like mid 50 degree water temperatures. And a lot of the times they're bringing the lakes up really fast. And so these smallmouth can get really finicky, especially before they move up onto the bed. And so I think the Ned Rig may play huge for me this year if I can be patient enough to uh, keep it in my hand and keep on throwing it. Uh, got some more baby rage menaces. Uh, actually, no, these are normal rage menaces in crawdaddy color. It's a new color. It's like an orange and black swirl. This color is going to do a really good job of pairing up with the um, jackhammer. Now, not just any jackhammer, because I love throwing it on the jackhammer, but that freaking orange crazy jackhammer, the fire crawl, I think is what it's called. And there's not a ton of trailers that can pair up with it. But this one can. You've got those hints of methylate orange in there. On camera, it kind of just looks black. But there's some hints of methylate orange in there, black. So it's going to do a really good job of kind of blending in with that skirt and be a trailer that you can throw on there that pairs up with it very, very nicely. I think these things can also just be Texas rigged and tossed around. You, The Rage Menace and the Rage Crawl and the Rage Bug, like if... At somewhere to say, Alex, what's the three plastics, like the three flipping plastics, do everything plastics, you know, throw them on the back of a jig, throw them on the back of a jackhammer, Texas rig them, drag them on a Carolina rig, those would be my three. They're just that good. They're absolutely amazing. Um, we also got some more rage bugs, green pumpkin. You can never, ever, ever have enough rage bugs. That's just my philosophy. Ned Ocho's in moon juice. Got some baby rage menaces, green pumpkin. Uh, some Rage Menace's normal green pumpkin, Rage Menace's black and blue normal size ones. We also got this color. This is a color that I'm excited about. I'm kind of digging through here to find these. This is a new color in the Rage Bug that I'm very excited about. And that is Smoke Purple. So it's like a Smoke Purple tube, but they made it into a Rage Bug. And for you guys that fish up north, Smoke purple is like a mainstay. But down here in the south, not a ton of guys throw it, but it's a color that I've had success on, especially in a tube. And so I picked these up in some rage bugs to try them out, just to see. Especially when that water gets stupid clear, but I know they're still kind of wanting that flipping bite action. I'm gonna tie these bad boys on and uh, hopefully go to work with those right there. So got another pack of those. And now, we move into some hard baits. Got some red eye shads. Uh, needed some red eye shads. I showed you when we redid the crankbait box how like low I was on liplesses. So picked up some red eye shads. These are just normal. These are not the two tap version, but I got some in bully. Got a case pack of those. So that is three in the color bully. I'll show you that guys one more time. That's their kind of new chartreuse base, orange back, a little bit of blue, green flake on there. Just a really, really good color. It'll be really good in some muddy water. We also got some in, let's see what this one is. Ooh, one of my favorite colors, chartreuse perch. I've talked about chartreuse perch before. It looks like a little bit of everything. Bluegills, perch, bait fish. It does a good job of mimicking all kinds of stuff. That pale 
that pale kind of yellow with that green back that it's got. Excellent color. Excellent, excellent color. We got some 3XDs here. Let's see what we got. We got some more Chartreuse Perch 3XDs. Amazing color. Again, a color that you guys know that I love in the 3XD. We've caught a lot of fish on it. We've got some jerk baits. Now, you guys know I love throwing a jerk bait, and I had a ton of success on the KVD jerk bait this year, and so we picked up some more. These are the KVD Deeps, the 300 Deeps. Um, this is Silver Tennessee Shad. We've also got down in here some more. Let's see what color this is. Oh, this is uh, a normal KVD. This is not the deep. This is in pro blue. Really good looking little jerk bait there. That'll be killer in any kind of clear water situation. Like that. Like that a whole, whole lot there, boys. A whole, whole lot. We've got some 300s. I don't know these are deep. No, these are the normal chrome Tennessee shad again. That chrome Tennessee shad absolutely killed it for us this year. So. Picked up a couple more of those just so we'd have them, have them in the boat when we needed them. Only thing I do to these is change out the hooks and uh, keep on a rolling. But yeah, um, that is not even everything either. The, we're missing just a little bit of stuff. I'll have to get in the order here and kind of compare it and see what I still have coming to me. You know, right now with like stock and everything, stock's been kind of off and all wonky and wacky just because of virus crap and trying to keep up with production and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's, a lot, that's a lot of Strike King stuff. That's a mass majority of it. That is basically kind of my restock for the year. I mean, I keep a lot of stuff in the boat with me at all times, but these were the kinds of things that I, when I took my inventory, I was like, I need to replace these so that I'll be ready for the rest of the year and have the tools that I need to go out and go catch some fish. So, yeah, got the kayak loaded up. We're going to go hit up the uh, kayak tournament tomorrow. We're going to see how we do in that thing. Hopefully have some fun doing that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know it was another unboxing, but hey, you know, what can you do? It's the middle of winter. Hopefully the kayak tournament went well. And I got a bunch of fishing footage for you guys because like I said, you'll probably be watching this afterwards. Um, but we're getting there. February is going to roll around. I got a couple kayak tournaments I'm going to do in February. And then plus, February is just an awesome time of year to go catch big fish in East Tennessee. We really start to see that pre-spawn push in February. So yeah but as always guys thank you for watching you guys are sweet i'll see you later